Okay, so let's try this one, um, Renee. Uh, so, um, osmium tetroxide, whenever you see this, and you see an alkene, whenever you see osmium tetroxide, that thing's gonna, yeah, make a diol out of the alkene, okay? And in fact, whenever you have an alkene, just like the last problem we were talking about, you've got these carbons being sp2 centers, right? Mm -hmm. So the thing can attack from the top or the bottom, you know? This particular one's going to want to attack from the bottom mm -hmm. more because of this bridgehead. Yeah, this bridgehead carbon. And that provides steric hindrance to something coming that way. So it's not going to do it, right? So, um, I mean, so you're thinking that the major product of this is going to be uh, the diol from the bottom, right? So, um, how do you do that? Remember, this is actually a concerted reaction, okay? It's like those um, uh, uh, pericyclic reactions yeah. that we had talked about later, you know, but now that you know about them, you can think about them in this sort of way. So, let's draw osmium tetroxide. So that's what it looks like, okay? It's unlike uh, potassium permanganate, it's uh, uncharged, yes. okay? So um, what'll happen is, again, this is a concerted reaction. So pericyclic, it'll, all the bonds uh, uh, form and break at the exact same time. So what I like to do is take that. Yeah, let's just draw a little bit. like that, right? And then this bond, this is weird because you don't usually see things attacking oxygens, but with the last two mechanisms that we've done, things have been attacking oxygens, right? And then that bond goes there, okay? Now you've got this intermediate. Like that. Um, <clears throat> and uh, so so again, this is concerted. <coughs> and you don't need to know the, the second step mechanism. So this is kind of an intermediate, right? Or an a, a intermediate for the a reaction. And what uh, this uh, sodium bisulfide does is kind of uh, reduce this osmonium uh, intermediate, you know? So it'll kind of if you can effectively say just break those bonds there, okay? So it's going to reduce it, right? So reducing means to add hydrogen to, right? So for this, um, you don't need to know any mechanism. If you see something like that, that just means reduction. And you're going to make what is that called? Yeah, well, it's a syndiol. Yeah. yeah. And the reaction is, like Renee just said, syndihydroxylation. So, again, need to know the mechanism. Don't need to know the mechanism, just reduces. Okay. So, this, in fact, is oxidizing that. Thing, right? Because if you add oxygen to it, you oxidize. Okay. Is everybody cool with that? Yeah. Okay, cool.